You've probably seen crash tests with dummies using cars. Well, the insurance industry was behind those tests, and it's now using the same concept to protect your home and property during a tornado. Gary Lezak now joins us to explain. This is interesting. I know. Can you imagine testing houses? Oh, so expensive. Fast. I know. Yeah, that'd be tough. The insurance industry is betting we'll be doing just that as we select home designs and building materials tested to withstand tornadic winds. Watch closely as strong winds build to 100 miles per hour inside this one-of-a-kind test chamber. Two new houses sit side by side, one built to code and the other with higher end fortified materials. Within seconds, the inferior house is literally blown away. Watch as we show it again from another angle. The camera is protected in a metal cage. 100 fans power the wind in this test simulation. The speed peaks at about 100 miles per hour, similar to the damaging winds from the microburst that hit Lee Summit this past year and the microburst that hit Ruskin Heights in July and the straight line winds that ripped through eastern Kansas and northwestern Missouri last April. It's this kind of damage that researchers are trying to overcome. Until we can figure out why structures come apart and why they fail, we can't really tell people with complete accuracy how to keep them together and how to keep people safe. Not even commercial construction testing has done this kind of built-to-scale test. Never been done before, and this is really a quantum leap forward for building science. Full-scale testing like this is essential for home building materials because a nail or shingle strength changes when minimized. What makes this special is its three-point latching. It's different with commercial construction. Building to withstand Mother Nature costs more up front, but here at Johnson County Communication Center, they say it's worth it. This is where uh, 911 calls are answered for a majority of the county residents. We got a look inside the seven inch thick concrete walls and behind the reinforced doors. This facility was built to withstand an EF4 tornado where winds can reach over 200 miles per hour. The construction materials used here went through strenuous testing and certification, but only the construction components. It's not feasible to test an entire building this big. In commercial construction, however, fortified materials like the inch and a half thick windows only work if properly installed. It's the same for the walls, ceilings, and doors. You can't take that door and install it in a wood frame and say, great, I have a FEMA, or a FEMA rated door. It has to go into a very specific structure and a very specific installation process. The same kind of certification will likely apply to home building materials that stand up to repeated tests. Like commercial construction, it does cost more to build the home with the superior materials, but not as much as you might think. The reinforcements to this 1,300 square foot home ran about $5,000. Now, the Institute for Business and Home Safety make the results of all their tests public, so you can go to NBCXNews.com to check it out. Also, we have tornado safety tips online as well. And you know what? I, looking at these tests, two times they went through with these 100-mile-per-hour winds blasting those houses. It was incredible. And, but they, they stood up. Both of them stood up until they opened the doors of each house, and then That's what it the one with the lesser material is let loose first. Is wow. $5,000 you're talking about? Apparently $5,000 Oh, when you think more. about the rebuilding and all the, the grief you could go through and the loss of life, yeah, $5,000 would be it's worth true. it. Something to think about, and we'll learn more in the next few right. weeks. It'll be tornado season before you know it. Do you know what's happening one week from tonight? Mm -mm. What's that? Global climate change. You've got another story for us. Another big story coming up. The All question right. is, is the earth warming up or is there